In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best knot to use whenever you're going from braid to a heavier mono. So in my opinion, the best knot to use, or the one I use anyway, is going to be the surgeon's knot right here. And the reason I use it is because it's one of the easier knots to tie. It's nice and compact, while well, it's not big and bulky like a lot of the other knots out there. And you can use it for different lines. So you can go from braid to mono, you can use it from braid to floral, and also you can use it for different materials as well. So it's extremely simple to use. And in my opinion, it is easier to tie than the blood knot, the double uni or the J knot as well. So it's what I use the majority of the time whenever I'm trying to join two lines together and I've never had any issues with it. And that's the reason why I do use it. All right, so before we do get started, I just wanna mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably gonna be at like 1000 subscribers and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. We have to have like a backpack, you know, a fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first, subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to lay out your line. And in this case, the black line is going to be the braid and the yellow line is going to be the mono. So what you wanna do is you wanna overlap them by a decent amount. If it is your first time, you wanna overlap them by a pretty good amount just because it'll make things a lot easier. So I have this, I have this overlapped. And the first thing we have to do is, I'll, I'll just show you with one line so it makes things easier. All you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking your tag end and we're gonna be forming a simple overhand knot. So it's gonna be like that. We're gonna take our line and we're gonna come up through. Okay, and then we're gonna take it and do it one more time. So it's gonna bottom through. And all we're gonna be doing is pulling it tight, just like that. But the only difference is that we're gonna be doing that exact steps with both strands of line and that's pretty much how the knot works. So all you wanna do is you wanna take the lines and we're simply going to loop them. All right, so you're just gonna have a simple loop that looks just like that. The black line here is going to be um, the main part of our braid. The yellow out will be the tag end of our mono. The black hair will be the tag end of our braid. And the yellow here is going to be the main part of our mono. So all we're basically gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking the tag end of our braid, which is right here, and the whole leader and we're just gonna be coming and we're gonna be wrapping them both around these strands of line here and we're gonna be coming up through the bottom. So just like that, pull the entire leader through. There's one. Then we're gonna do that one more time. So we're gonna wrap it around and come up through the bottom. There's two. And all we gotta do now is grab all four strands of line. So one, two, three, four. And we gotta slowly start pulling them tight and that's going to be our knot. I will mention though, if you want to tie a triple surgeon's knot, which is going to be a bit stronger, all you have to do is grab these lines and wrap them through one more time. And I generally like doing that whenever I'm using lighter line. If you are using a thicker line, then it can get a little bit uh, bulkier. So if you're using thicker line, just do two. If you're using thinner line, do three. It'll just add to the security of it. But all you got to do now is scrap all four and slowly start pulling them together. It'll kind of form into like a figure eight here. I like moistening, moistening this so either some water or spit will secure it a bit better. But all you gotta do now is slowly start pulling them. And there's the simple surges knot, which is one of my favorites anytime I wanna connect braid to mono or even braid to floral for that matter, just because of how simple it is, how nice and compact the knot is. But all you gotta do now is grab the main parts of the line, really cinch them down tight cut off your tag ends there and you are good to go. So if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the, all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.